Hello and welcome back to Games Night, where me and Ben are continuing our game of Star Wars Rebellion. Oh, Rebellion. Uh, we are just moving into turn four, mm -hmm. which means uh, the Death Star that is about to be completed is about to be completed. Yeah, Death Star Two is coming online. Should but, we do that now? Should yeah. we shove everything down? Okay, so the Death Star Two is now online. Um, Fully operational battle station. The Imperials also get three more troops and two TIE fighters. Now they know where we are. They, they found do. the rebel base, unfortunately, now, which feels really bad. It has gone kind of wrong. Um, the Star Destroyer will appear at Otapu. Okay. Um, and so we have more TIE fighters. Because that's and where it got made. That's where it got made, and that's where the AI defends its high production worlds first. Okay, right. Um, then the next regards asked, it would put some men on Mustafar to help with the invasion of Hoth, but we sabotaged the factories on Mustafar, oh, so he's not I allowed see. to build new units there. Right, you're not allowed to place any units there. That's good that um, we did that. Yeah, that might, might save our skin. Although maybe that's how they knew we were on Hoth. Hmm. <gasps> Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, so we also we move up all these units as well to the next turn. Another asset and a, wow, look at the build queue. They've got two they've got so many Star Destroyers yeah. it's, like, it's like packed full. Uh, we get a bunch of stuff though as well. Yeah, our first Mon Calamari cruiser rolls off the line. Uh, our first Mon Cal, and also we get some fighters and so how much stuff can we deploy out the so rebel? We can base? only put two things there. Two um, things total. Yeah, and I think they should both be rebel troopers. Because although the Moncal's cool, um, it won't help us when the attack comes to invade Hoth. Is that going to happen imminently? Yeah, that's going to be there. So they moved those at the end of last turn, right? Yeah. So can we get our fleet back before? If we use the, the fleet come home card, yeah. that doesn't happen till the very end of the turn. Oh, crap. So we have to solve another turn. Okay, yep. it's two rebel troopers, three rebel troopers, three, three stormtroopers, and an Anatta. With only two rebel troopers here. So we can only resupply two emergency. Yeah, we're calling up. Forces. These are all like the, uh, the guys who refuel the X Wings and stuff. You know, they're the um, second line. We've given them guns, and we're saying you've got to hold out for one more turn, and then we can move the base. Crap. Can we do anything else? Well, we'll find um, out, can't we? So where should we just deploy the Mon Calamari hmm. cruiser then? I mean, I do we, we want to just add it to the main fleet so when they come back, we can fight stuff properly? Unfortunately, we can't because the Imperial propaganda lost our rebellious. Um, oh, so we can only deploy it on Rebel World. So yeah, okay. so it's Naboo, Kashyyyk, or Mon Calamari. So let's get. Um, well, let's let's do a run on the Death Star, shall we? What oh, we that reminds that? me. We need to draw the Rebel plans that we found last yes, time. Yes, we got the Death Star. Plans, we got the Death Star right? plans, right? So when we this the way this works is. You fight a round of combat. Yeah. Then if you have at least one fighter left after that round of combat, okay. you reveal this card and you roll three dice. Right. If you roll a double if you roll a crit, right. the Death Star is destroyed. Otherwise the plans return to your hand. Okay, so we know how to destroy these Death Stars. We know where to shoot it. It's got the weak spot. So is is an X Wing and a Y Wing Squadron gonna be enough yep. to destroy the Death Star? Well it has no has no TIE fighters guarding it. Right, it's on its own. It's, it's naked. It's literally just finished construction. A brand new naked Death Star. But it has got the lasers, remember? But that laser is can't hit a little. Okay. It can only... So we don't want to send a Moncal and an X Wing. The Moncal will just get lasered by the Death okay. Star. Let's put the Moncal where else can it actually even it's be? It's literally only Mon Calamari or Kashyyyk. We'll put it we'll put it at Kashyyyk with the other ship, shall we then? Cool. What about our spare rebel troopers? Um we could put them on Naboo. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, no, we can't. Sorry, we'll put the fighters on the boo. Oh, we'll okay. have to stick them on Mon Calamari. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, we've got, well, we got some Mon Calamari uprising. Okay. Um, so then we start, then we have to draw some of our new missions. New free mission cards. Right. So we've got hit and run. Uh, attempt any system if successful, draw up to two health worth of units of choice. So, oh, we can. So, this is what they played against us basically. It's like you can destroy um, and kill units with a character. Some of the units. So, we can kill some of the ground troops that are going to come onto Hoth, I guess. Yeah, we can take them out before they turn up. And the other Hoth. one we've got is public uprising, attempt any subjugated system. Mm -hmm. That's not very useful. If successful, gain. One circle and two triangle units, ships and or ground units in the system, then resolve a combat. So subjugated system... Just Rhodia. Just Rhodia. Okay. So we could have a land speeder and two, um, tr two troopers. Right. Okay, so we can get a land speeder and two troopers in that system, liberate it, and then rescue Akbar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can rescue Akbar, 
Okay, so we can do things. If we can survive on Hoth, we can rescue Akbar. That's the thing we can do. Uh, we have still got the base defenses card that we can play. Yes, yeah, so General Recon can build a shield generator on Hoth to try and like hold out till the end of the turn. Right, so is that going to help us? Of shield generators, the start of each ground battle step, you can draw, draw a ground tactics card. Okay, that might be that might save us. Mm. But we do need to roll crits if we're going to fight. Okay, so right, we need to make sure this mission goes off to kill two kill of the those troopers. Kill yes. But then they're still going to be... He has, he has to leave one behind when he moves okay, to hold so the planet. Okay, so he can only send the at mm. And a whole load of fleet. Right, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> So who is our strong... Oh, do we get a new mm. character? Oh, oh we do, we yeah. That? Yeah, we haven't recruited characters yet. So we get um, either Han Solo or Chewbacca. Oh, cool. Oh, well, Chewbacca's pretty good at fighting, and we might need a, a fighty guy. Uh, whereas Han Solo's pretty cool at everything, and he's just Han Solo. He's a badass. He's pretty cool. Maybe Chewie's what we need right now if we're going for punchings. We need, well, Kashyyyk... I reckon we've got Kashyyyk. It's oh, yeah. the rebel place. I reckon Chewie should be on, on He's happy that online. we're... we're Helping his He's joining the re he would have joined the rebellion even if Han Solo didn't. You know, he yeah. was he was always a good rebellion guy. Well, at least we got a guy who can do the hit and run. Oh, mission. and the, the Imperials get a new guy. They get Admiral Ozzel. Oh God, more guys, more Imperial officers. He's the guy who Darth Vader described as being as clumsy as he is stupid. <laughs> um, he choked him through the holographic link. He was on the phone with him, and he was just like. Aah. He choked him through the phone. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could do that. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? You're on, you're on the, the hold for tech support, and you're just like, Aah. Yeah. Well, that, then you would never get your thing fixed. But... No, that's true. <clears throat> so if we rescue him, do we then get him back into a pool to use this turn? No, no, he okay. comes back at the end. Oh, that's a shame. So we've definitely lost Akbar for a turn. And we could do with him with our, when our fleet gets into battle. Um, with their fleet, if that's going to happen. You know, especially when we walk back. Well, I think instead of warping back, we should move the base. Oh, okay. What well, move the base at the end of the turn instead? Instead of teleporting. The instead of trying to teleport back to yeah. fight. All right. So we need to do that mission. Um, yes. With somebody. So the only person who could do it is my Mothra or General Recon. Mm. We want Recon to build the shield generator. Oh shit. Okay. So Recon needs to build the shield generators. Chewie needs to go on a, on a mission to hit and run in Mustafar. Mm -hmm. So we, that means the only person who can move the real waste is Mon Mothma. But that, again, feels fairly appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, my we God. Need... So is there going to be an Atat -at smashing its way across Hoth? Oh, my God. It's perfect, God. With a, hopefully, with a shield generator and an ion cannon protecting it. It's going to be just like the movie. It's going to be just like it. That's crazy. Oh, the Millennium Falcon can rescue leaders. Okay, that's its special. Sorry, I just read that card. That's all right. So then we want to do... What else do oh. we want to do? Well, should we get... Luke Skywalker to attack the Death Star. What with these, with these, with these, what? So he can just command these fleets to attack the Death Star. Yeah, I think that's. Is he? Is that? A, oh, I see. He has two fleet power. Does that help? No, maybe. Well, we just. He needs to survive the first round of combat with a with at least one fighter. I see. So okay. maybe he'll draw some cards that will prevent damage or something like that. Okay. Okay. We'll consider that. What else have we got that we need to do here? Um, uh, misdirection might be worth sending someone on a misdirection mission. Oh, yeah, we could misdirect and then Chewie's mission can't be blocked. Yeah, so let's, let's misdirect. Well, if we misdirect with Leia mm -hmm. at Mustafar, then an Imperial leader, so that has to be an Imperial unit, then we can say she's going to misdirect like Vader. Oh, no, she names one of our leaders. She would then name Chewbacca. Ah, and then Chewie can definitely... Chewie auto-succeeds on his mission. But she might not succeed in her... no. In, in her fact, misdirection. So let's send her somewhere else. So Maybe we should fails. send Chewbacca in the misdirection mission. Leia hasn't got enough fists to hit and run. Oh, shit, you're right. Maybe we, maybe we use Luke and Leia to hit and run. So we misdirect with Chewbacca, and then Luke, in the same system as Luke and Leia do the hit and run, that will be their five fists to do the hit and run. We, we want to guarantee it goes... Is that, a lot, is that too much investment in I one I do thing? kind of want to have Luke block the Death Star. We'll at least we have can. a go at it. Yeah, that does give us a victory point. So, it gives okay. us two victory points blowing up the Death Star. We're still going to have to gamble on this. So is it worth doing the misdirection with Chewie or the hit and run with which one? I think misdirect with Leia and, and send her somewhere else. Um, so Because if, if Boba Fett goes to stop her, at least that's drawn Boba Fett out of... I see. He's not going to be where Mustafa is. I get you. So eat, pass or fail, it helps Chewbacca. Okay, we'll send her... So it needs to be any system with an Imperial unit. So what, Corellia? I guess yeah. it doesn't really matter. 
All right, so we'll send Leia to misdirect Corellia. Hopefully, they'll send someone to go. If they mm -hmm. don't send someone to go, then we can turn off one of them, guaranteed. Well, no, we, we auto-protect Chewie. Oh, we auto-protect Chewie, and then Chewie will get his mission off. Okay, good. Chewie's mission, Mon Moth is going to move the base at the end of the turn. Rika's going to build a shield generator, and we need to do that like pretty soon, I guess, before they move in. Well, they will move in last. The AI does its missions first, and then it moves afterwards. But this will be its move. It will guarantee to be that one. Yes. But could it do its move earlier? No, it'll always complete the, it's, it's got a little deck of four missions it needs to chew through okay, first. Okay, right. And then Jan, what are we going to do with Jan? Well, he's not diplomatic enough to have the uprising. Okay, we can't do the uprising. So he could lead an assault, he could attack the Star Destroyer, or a ground assault to rescue Akbar. Uh, which, which, all right, well, we want to move the whole fleet, do we? Maybe we should move the, the actual armada somewhere. Yeah, we should do something with it, because if we knock out a Star Destroyer, that's a, that's a victory point. How about... Uh, we can't go through from Utapau to Mustafa, though. No. We're in a bit of a pickle here. Where do we want to go? Do we want to go to Rhodia or Tatooine? If we go to Tatooine, we get a victory point for killing a Star Destroyer, if we, if we kill it. I, th I think we should probably go Utapau, actually. It's closer than... It's at least it's, well, then again, our base is going to move. It doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, we'll, let's go to Tatooine. Fine. We'll, we'll get Yan to lead the fleet to Tatooine. Actually, because if we knock out the, Re the Imperial troops at Tatooine, we yeah. could move the base there. Okay. We could clear out a new... And then that would be... They would have no idea that we were there. No, they, we could, again, be anywhere they haven't been yet. Even though it's quite obvious that we've just cleared out Tatooine with a huge double fleet. Maybe it's a misdirect. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we moved over here to Ilum. We're, we're doing a misdirect with Leia anyway. All right. Okay, so let's... Shall we start with the main misdirect? Is that going to be our first action? Um, yes. Okay. All right, so... Okay, so uh, we have to find out if the AI wants gonna, to stop it. Are they going to try and stop this direct? They are. Yes, they are. Sending Boba Fett. Okay, so let's try this misdirect anyway. It might still work, even though they've sent Boba Fett to try and stop it. I rolled a crit. You got a two. And he got a two. two. Oh my so god, it was successful. Oh man, Leia evaded Boba Fett. Imperial intelligence thinks oh. this is their most important mission. So Boba Fett's out. And Chewie's safe. Well, he will be next. Next, so you have to do a mission now. Uh, yes. Dear, so the AI mission. is going to rule by fear. What does that mean? The emperor is going to um, tell someone to be loyal. Oh God. Um, anywhere with an imperial unit. Um, oh, it has to be Rodia by the looks of it. Okay. There's no no other valid targets. So he's going to Rodia and he's getting them to stop being subjugated and turn loyal yes. imperials. Rodia, Amiibo. Amiibo, join me, Amiibo. <laughs> okay, good. So uh, that is that is that's him done. That's me. So mm -hmm. then, well, shall we do? Well, we know we know Chewbacca's safe, so we can save that till the end, I guess. Oh, that's true. Tempting any rebel system. So do we want to do it on Hoth, and they can intercept? Though can they? They they can try and intercept, but oh, he gets an automatic one. critical success because it's his mission. Okay, well, who have they got left They've to intercept? They've got Darth Vader would be the interceptor. He's got two diplomacy. Mm. You have one diplomacy but an auto crit. Oh, do I want to, do I want to risk it? No, let's, let's send Mon Moth. No, we can't do that yet. We can't do this yet. We can't We do... could launch an attack and then maybe Darth Vader would be drawn in to defend. Okay, that's a good idea. Let's launch the, let's launch the diversionary attack. Oh, on Darth Vader's Star Destroyer on Tatooine. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, Yanda Dora, in you go. Send in the fleet. So how many do we move? Is it everything? Uh, yeah, into Tatooine, yeah? Yeah. So we'll just leave it there because it's going to get messy otherwise. Okay, so we've got uh, three X-Wings, three Y-Wings, and a transport. Yeah. Does that bring... That brings the troops with it. Right, okay. But we have to leave one rebel troop uh, there. We don't have to. No, it's the Imperials have to leave troops Oh, right, behind. okay. So Darth Vader's the most highly qualified um, commander. Does he... Does he definitely go? Yeah, the AI sends the best general they have. Okay. Which is Darth Vader. Well, no, he's a... He's a 2-3. Oh, I see. Three ships. No one else is three ships, are they? No, they've got other... They've got three ships, but he's only got one ground attack. No, Darth Vader's only two ships. But he's got uh, three ground. Like, his total general Oh, I see. His general total powers. overall generaling Because we're five. fighting air and ground. Okay. I see. Yeah, so are we sending all of our ground units? Yeah, fuck I it. think we should. We'll, we'll clear it, it out. We'll send everything. Because then he'd, if we clear it out and move the base, okay. the AI then thinks, well, it could be Tatooine. Right, well, gives him another. This is, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of what's and ifs here, Ben. There sure is. Um, so we draw tactics cards. Right. We get one ground tactics, which is dug in. Oh, dig in, okay. And we get 
Could you pass the space tactics yes, over? Yes, you can have the space tactics. Um, Discard one ground tactic card from your hand to block up to two damage. Cool. So we can't use it yet, but if we can draw another card, it'll be really good. And we get two spacey tactics, which are critical hit, deal an additional damage. And, and outmaneuver. outmaneuver. Discard one space tactic from your hand to block two damage. Okay, so we can discard our critical hit to do <laughs> block two damage if we wanted. These don't seem like very good cards. That's um, okay. A critical hit seems so fine. The X wings roll anti fighter dice, and the Y wings roll anti capital ship dice. Okay. Do you want to do the the honors? Yeah, I'll do the rebel fleet. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So okay. Got... So the Y wings completely fluff it. So the Y wings didn't shoot anything anti cap. No anti capital. No, they, they tried to do their bombing run, and they mm -hmm. just got intercepted completely. Whereas the X wings did a decent amount of damage. They did one, two, three, four damage. Mm. Oh, well, is that crits? So that can that... hit anything, but Darth Vader's got two space tactics. Okay. So they, he doesn't draw cards, because he's AI, he doesn't know how to use cards. Right. He will use them to make us re-roll these two dice. Right, okay. And then he's done for the battle, that's his tactics done. Okay, so we still got a crit and um, just one crit and one hit. So how okay. much life does a TIE Fighter have? One. So this destroys a TIE Fighter. Beep. And this one can either destroy a TIE Fighter or damage the Star Destroyer. I think we should start damaging that Star Destroyer, don't you? Okay. Because that's the mission. If we can kill the Star Destroyer... I feel like we're going to end up killing the other TIE Fighter by accident. Um, so now he shoots back. Yes, he does. So he's got two red on the Star Destroyer, one black. And he had two TIE Fighters, so he gets two more blacks. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, he rolls a lot better. Um, <laughs> so he's going to do two damage to the transport. Right, which ones? Um, a random, uh, one of each and then a randomised. One, two, three, an X-Wing, four, five, six, the Y-Wing. So two X-Wings and a Y-Wing. But we can prevent some damage here. Oh, yeah, of course we can. We could discard our two space tactics to prevent two damage. Let's do that, sure. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, just, let's protect two damage. We don't mind losing the transport particularly. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any guns on it, so screw it. What's the point of it? It even? carries troops. You can't move troops without... You have to have a transport to move any troops. Or use the, the teleport card. Shit. So we've just lost our transport. It's all right, though. The troops are already on the ground. All right. <laughs> um, so we'll save... An ex ah. So we'll just lose one X-Wing. <laughs> oh, okay, so that wasn't a great round of combat. That was, wasn't um, terrific, was it? So these go on the bottom? Yeah. Okay. And then ground, uh, we roll three blacks for three rebel troopers, and then a black and a red for our speeder. Okay. Let's see roll roll better this time, please. I'm trying my best, man. <laughs> I got a crit. I got two crits on the black. And oh, I got. Nice. Okay. Uh, actually, so what are those? These are doubles. No, these are in combat, these are draw cards. Ah, right. Draw so we'll, we'll spend one are. to draw a card. Another dug in. That's and then good. we'll spend one to draw another card. Unstoppable assault. During this ground battle step, your opponent cannot block damage. Right. Um. Okay, and then we did two first. hits. So we could, this is an anti-stormtrooper hit, and that can hit the ATST. Right, so this stormtrooper's down, mm -hmm. and the ATST is damaged. But they, that's, that stormtrooper still gets to shoot. He does, yeah. So, so we get, he gets this back at us. Okay. And a hit on a speeder and a hit on a man. Okay. But we can use our dug-in tactic. Let's do that. Discard a dug-in and the unstoppable block assault. To block two damage. Okay. We take no damage at all. Good. So now it's the second round of shooting, I guess. It's not yep. happening now. So we've got uh, two X-Wings and three Y-Wings. So, yeah, so there you go. That's right. So three red and two black. Mm -hmm. And we get three hits. Ooh, two hits on the Star Destroyer, one hit on the TIE Fighter. Vader's used up all of his um, tactic points, so he so, just takes that damage. Right. So it's two more hits on the Star Destroyer and a dead TIE. Okay, and then they shoot back. For all of their guns. Um, which is a TIE Fighter, a Star Destroyer, Star Destroyer, Star Destroyer? Uh-oh. So that, there's no big ships to hit for the Star Destroyer. Oh, so really? That so that doesn't do anything. And then he hits one, um, one Y-Wing, I suppose. This is a smart move here. Sure, to stop the damage coming in on that Star Destroyer. Yeah, and then it's ground combat. So okay. three black, <laughs> four black and a red. <laughs> oh, we can do this, man. There's only one hit this. left we on that ATST. Uh, that is a crit gets him. A crit will get him. Yeah. So we've killed the ATST. It fires back. 
And kills a man. Kills a rebel trooper as it goes down. Okay. Okay, that is not bad. Look, we've got a rebel trooper, two rebel troopers and a snow speeder. I've conquered the Imperial Garrison on Tatooine. Yeah, and now we just need to finish off. We just need to finish off the Star Destroyer. We've got so, two reds, two blacks. All right, so I'll do those. How many lives it got? One, one hit left. Oh. Oh, super overkill. Go. Okay, so it's him. dead, but it and does get to shoot back to shoot a little back. bit. And it fluffs do it. All right, so that is a Star Destroyer down. Boom. That is a completed mission. Rebel Assault. We get Gain a victory, victory point. point. Okay, we'll have that. Um, and we move our fleet up to Tatooine. Okay. Nice. Was, Even with Darth Vader there. Directing the fleet, it was it was a weak it was a weak re uh, imperial fleet, and it gave yeah. the entire rebel fleet. And the rebel fleet looks dis <laughs> dis distinctly <laughs> reduced. The entire rebel fleet ganged up on the weakest imperial thing on the board and scraped through a victory. <laughs> yeah, losing its transport capabilities in the process. I think that's good. It's a victory point. You cannot argue with victory points. That is points. a victory point. Right. So that was one. Of, that was our action. So that was our action. Now so it's the imperials. Um, imperial action. They're going to build a super star destroyer. Of course they are. Um, <laughs> so I guess they go um, oh to my God. where they can build Star Destroyers. Utapu. No, they go to Corellia. Why not? Sure. Um, you go, if you would do the honours, the big boy. Oh my God. How long is this going to take? Uh, on three. Oh, look at it. It's really cool. That's a nice model. It's a nice model, the Super Star Destroyer. All right. Scary. Is it the white way around? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's got like a city on its back. Yeah, it has, isn't it? Okay. Super Star um, Destroyer being built. Right, and me next. Yes. Shall we, have a, shall we have a run on the old Death Star? Or shall we um, build our, our... Shall we try and build our base defences yet? Hmm. I'm worried about the base... Well, you know, he hasn't got many good diplomats to try and stop the base... The base defences... Yeah, let's build the base defense. Let's go for it. General Recon, I'm feeling confident. Let's okay. get those, get that shield generating that iron cannon. Are they going to try and stop him? They're not. Okay, he's allowed to do it. Good. So we get an iron cannon and a base defense. Thank God. Right. Let's build these. Oh, cool. It's like a little, um, a little nip. It's like a yeah, nipple little, gun. little nipple boob. <laughs> yeah. Iron cannon and some what are these shield defense shield shield generators. Oh, they're so cool. Oh man, this is proper Hoth. Defense. Okay. So we leave him there now. Hopefully, guys can see that. That's really cool. All right, General Recon, you're in He's charge done. of defending Hoth. All right, who's next? Uh, the Imperials. They are going to start trade negotiations, mm -hmm. which is a mission they can't do because all their diplomats are busy. So they'll try something else. They'll fire the Death Star. <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay. Um, Who are they firing the Death Graham, Star at? They're going to destroy Dagobah. Why? Because it's a potential hiding spot for the rebel base when we move. Are they they just, get, and they need to show the galaxy that these weapons can be used. Are they just going to do it? Is that it? Like, we can't contest it. No. They're just um, going to fire the... What about Yoda? He's dead, mate. <laughs> Yoda just got death start. <laughs> Grand Moff Tarkin needs to show the galaxy that he's willing to use this weapon. They won't be afraid of it unless oh he uses God. it. Dagobah is no longer... A on the map. Poor old Yoda. And that also um, <sighs> turns Naboo neutral. They're too scared to support the rebellion any longer in case they're next on the chopping block. Oh my god, really? That's yeah. pretty effective. Fear will keep them in line. Right. I think we should get I think we should do the hit and run on Mustafa before it gets too late. Okay. So let's let's do that. Send Chewbacca in to attempt yes. to destroy some. So he because of the misdirect, they can't stop him. Okay. So he just goes in and does it. Slaughter him and a small crack commando team. Oh, blow up an Imperial garrison. I forgot that he couldn't do it. Kill two Stormtrooper be... detachments. Right, good. I've forgotten we... that that was I... a risk. That card's gone now. So we're gone with the hit and run. That's it. We can't use that again. Um, okay. Which means it's Imperials next. They're going to do more research and development. Oh, no. Which means it's going to be uh, old Jergerod who's going in. Mm -hmm. um, and he's going to clear off the sabotage. Oh, no. And draw a project card. That goes into the Imperial deck, Moth building Gergerod. more factories. Moth. Moth Jergerod. Um, okay, so their next move will be to attack us. Right. So we can, we, I mean, we'll, we'll establish a new rebel base, shall we? we yeah, can. we'll get the, okay, so that she's doing that. 
we don't get the results back till the end of the turn. Okay. Oh, no, or should we attack the Death Star with Luke? Yeah, let's attack the Death Star with Luke, sure. Let's do a good idea, let's do that. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's ride on in. He's going to get vengeance for Yoda. He didn't even get to meet Yoda. No. He was on his, I think he was on his way. He'd got the visions from yeah. everyone. He was like, go see Yoda. And he turns up and it's just, a, it's just an asteroid field. Yeah, shit. That second Death oh, Star, that was what they, that's what they needed in that first movie. Two Death Stars. Second Death Star. <laughs> um, and actually, now Luke can't level up to Jedi Luke. Why not? He has to go to Dagobah, then the card. It actually so says go he has to Dagobah to go. and become Jedi Luke. Well, really? So that's it. Yoda's dead. No more Jedi training for Luke. Maybe we should have picked uh, who was our alternative to Wedge. Maybe we should have picked old Wedge. Maybe. Oh well, never Shit. mind. Got okay. Luke now. He's leading them in. We got we got to do our best. So space combat. So Luke. we have a round of space combat, but Tar Tarkin is there. So he's there. He... So he gets two. Um, he gets to duff two of our rolls up. Crap, so we should have maybe attacked earlier. Before yeah. Tarkin turned up. Yeah, well, we weren't to, to know he was going to turn up, were we? We didn't know he was going to fire the Death Star. So we got a critical hit deal of damage um, and an outmaneuver, discard a card to block two damage. Okay. Now, the Death Star's weird. You can't actually hurt the Death Star in combat. Right. It's invincible. You, we can only hurt it by using our Death Star plans. Okay. And this is at the end of every round of combat. We get to make, like, a trench run. Okay. And we have to roll a six. That's so we, fine. we have to survive its, its onslaught. But the, the new ships they built to defend it haven't got to it yet. No, so it's pretty much undefended. It's pretty undefended. So it's going to fire its like super heavy turbo lasers. Can I have a red dice? But they don't but hit. They, no, they need to roll crits to hit fighters. Oh. It's weak to a fighter assault. It's strong against a capital ship assault. I see. I didn't realize it was four red dice. That's crazy. Um, it did get a crit. crit anyway. Um, we we can block it. Can block it. I think we should probably yeah, block it. Discard our both our tactics to block yeah, one damage. Right. Oh. Okay, so Luke's cunning maneuvers saved Gold Squadron from turbo laser. Well, well death. then again, we can afford to lose the white wing, so maybe we should save that for when he rolls. Oh, for when he double hits the X wing. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't actually matter, does it? Because if he rolls another one, we can then sacrifice the white wing. Oh, it was yeah. okay. Um. Okay, so we survived that first round of combat. We get to make a trench run. Right, so this is without X-Wing. Yeah. Um, uh, so we roll three dice, and we need to get a crit, a, an explosion, a Death Star explosion. All right. <laughs> a Death Star explosion. A literally a Death Star explosion It's literally dice. going to explode like the Death Star. No. no. We didn't get it. We didn't get so it. So we can keep, we can retreat or fight another round. We have to keep going. Okay, so, um, so the Death Star opens up the turbo laser batteries. Another hit. Okay, we've lost the wiring. Gold Squadron's down. <laughs> oh my god, it's just like the movie! <laughs> Wait, okay, you ready for another dice. trench run? Yeah, come on, Luke, you can do it. Yeah! Yes! Double hit! <laughs> He dropped two X-Wing fighters. Both were able to successfully land the mission. Oh, man. Oh, he just he shot two down So there. that first one, luck. in the trench run, the first one who fired, he managed to get his down. Oh, and then yeah. Luke was like, all right, I guess I could do it as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one for luck. <laughs> so, oh, so the Death amazing. Star blown up. The Death Star's destroyed. Holy shit. And we, we lose the Death Star plans. Um, we get two victory points. We get two victory points. So what this represents is they've now realised the weakness in the Death Star... This one has had an emergency patch put over that port. Right, and so now it's that, never going to be so able to destroy it. Not with that one. We can dig for another set of new Death Star plans. Oh. Look for a new weakness. The new Death Star plans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are there another set of Death Star plans in there? There is another set. Oh, there. okay. Cool, that's good to know. Oh, man, we did, so we get two victory points for that. Um, that puts us on ten. Yeah. We're on ten. But that's quite a long way to go. We're getting there, though. Yeah, we're showing, it's getting there. We're showing that the Empire can be defeated. And we just have to survive hot at Hoff for, yeah. for long enough, which is going to be tough. An ATST on Hoff versus shield generator, ion cannon, and some stuff. Okay, let's have a go. If I remember what... Empire Strikes Back well, those rebel troopers on Hoff did not hold out oh, against no, that. No, they didn't, at. did they, actually? They, they got really wrecked. They all got shot to bits. But they did hold out long enough for the transports to evacuate everyone. Yeah, that's so true. Maybe we can do a bit of reenactment here. Um, so I think it's going to be Admiral Ozzel. Who's going to go and lead the fleet in. Yeah. So what they take everything today. So it's yes. these They'll leave one trooper behind to maintain control. Okay. Yep. So it's just the ATST. And Admiral Wazel and an ATST. Oh, AT80. AT80. Sorry, my bad. 
and uh, two two guys. So how, how what are the what are these shield generators and things? So do? the the ion cannon is not going to help us much. Oh, it's um, only good against space in battles. space battles. They roll two fewer red dice, right. so it makes your star destroyers a bit shit at fighting other ships. Well, for there's no ships. There's no ships to fight, combat. so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, but the shield generator is great. It gives us a tactics card every turn. Okay. Well, that that might be very helpful. So we're going to need that. Um, this is it. If we lose this battle, we lose the game. So I need to roll crits to hit him. Um, yes. And he is rolling one of each. He's rolling one black, two red. Oh, okay, so two red. So, so the reds aren't that super good against no, troops. No, so neither of us are really well matched here. It's going to be a grind. It's going to be like five rounds of combat. Okay, well that's fine. But well, the longer it goes on, the better the shield He's got three is. hits. We've only got two hits. Yeah. Oh, Although the, he prioritises the shield generator. Oh, with, I see. So the shield generator's got three extra hits. Yeah, but it can be hit by red dice. Oh, shit. Okay. So he's quite good at blowing up the shield generator. So he's going to blow up the shield generator first, and then... And then kill all the men's. Oh, no. Um, so we get two. Okay, what have we got? We've got take it down. We can spend a draw card to deal two damage to a single unit. Okay, that's but, what we need. That's exactly what we need. And then this one's not much good, because it stops him blocking damage. But the AI doesn't draw cards to block damage. During this ground battle state, your opponent cannot block damage. Oh, so, that, so this is no good. So, so that's a dead card. We want, we want to discard that if we okay. ever get a chance. That's cool. Um, so he goes first. Take it down. It's got fucking it's 80, got, 80 80 in the yeah, picture. Can we get that? Oh my god. This is ideal. It's appropriate. So everyone focusing down on one So that's going to take it down to one life, effectively. Yeah, if we can roll that special symbol. Ah. We can only play it if we get that. Okay, we should get one of those, right? Hopefully. So he, he rolled two specials and, and a crit. crit. So, um, oh, the AI doesn't draw cards, so specials are regular hits for him. Okay. Um, so he kills a trooper, and he does two damage to the shield generator. Fuck! Oh, we draw an extra card for the shield generator, which I forgot to do. Because uh, we get two for general recon. Block and one, one damage. So that shield generator has literally just saved that okay. man. Okay. Oh, the shield generator has actually <laughs> literally saved a man with the shield. <laughs> yeah. So they fight. Oh. Holy it's perfect. <laughs> but, but the shield generator, shield generator takes... Itself, takes two hits. So only got one left. Okay. Um, and that's the first round of combat. Because they get to go round. first. Yeah. So then we return fire return without, fire without two... two black dice. <laughs> so you're looking for specials or explosions? The regular hits are worthless to us. There's Bang. an explosion. Explosion is a critical hit. Okay, so we can do one damage to the AT. But Admiral Ozzel has one point of ground combat tactics. And he will use that to make us re-roll that critical oh, hit. Oh no! No! Oh, shit, but he's spent now, he's got no more, no more tactics left. Okay, that's fine. Um, and now it's a new round of combat. So the shield generator kicks in. We get... A brilliant strategy. Uses... Draw two tactic cards from either deck, or one from each. If we get, a, a, if we can spend um, a point to do it. It's not a great card, it's not what we wanted. But, we might roll... Oh god. So here we go. It's, oh, it's a hit on oh each. Oh no, that's actually still bad. Shield generator's down. The shield generator's down. And a man is dead. And a man is dead. There's one man left. I don't think we can... I don't think we can... I don't think we're going to... The, we can the do rebel this. base is going to get overrun then. If we can roll a special to oh, take no, it down... Oh we get two dice for now. Okay. Yeah, we still get two dice this round. Oh, God. And if we get a crit and a special... We need a crit and a special, or we could use this special to draw two tacticals, and one of them might have a damage. Oh, that's true. So a double, double special. Or... There's a crit. There's a crit. Okay. Okay, we've damaged the attack. And now we just need a special. A special. And we need to survive. <laughs> he needs to not roll a crit on his reds or a hit. Well, remember, a double KO is a victory for us. Okay. And okay, remember, so, so even if he kills us this round, if we kill him in the same round, we hold on. <laughs> this is too close. We shouldn't be kind of this close every round. <laughs> um, oh, damn it. So here we go. Oh, oh my no. god, he massacres us. Okay, well we're dead. Definitely we're, we're dead. We're dead. Okay, this attack so, has been on fire today. So we need to Shit. now roll a special. Tactics. Yes, we have to get a tactics because that will deal two damage. There's only one of them on the dice. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. No! no! Okay, so oh. the AT-80 the AT just walks through half, blows up the shield generator, blows up everything. Stomps over the More rebel base. scrambling the transports, but, but they, it's too late. It's too late. They, the transports are blown up on the runway before we can escape and relocate. That's it. We lose. The rebels have lost. The rebels lose. Shit. A dark age sets over the galaxy, 
Man, that's a real shame. That was that was. I didn't know. Was I didn't know how this would go. No, not right? at all. I thought, oh, it's either going to be really easy, or it's going to be like, like really balanced. But man, it felt it felt like it was hard. If anything, actually, yeah. Didn't it? I think we. I didn't think. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought we'd get away with sending our, some of our troops over here, but if we'd left all our ground forces on Haas... We could have defended it for long enough to relocate it, the base. Yeah, we, we left it too poorly defended. Yeah, well, I mean, we, we wasn't, it wasn't... Yeah, I suppose it was because we were right next to Mustafa that was the problem, and yeah. there, were a big, there was a big garrison on that. We were trying to hide in plain sight, but made a little bit of a mistake there, maybe. Should have, or if we'd moved the base a turn earlier. Yes, I didn't think that... I didn't, but I didn't know that they'd find us but that's just how they automatically like their flow chart around they like yeah. go to all the small planets man what a game well there you go thank you Ben for, for, for showing me this it's really no good worries. I can see why you like it um, yeah maybe we'll come back to this and have another couple of games I think it's pretty mm. good isn't it we'll I see really how like the videos it. turn out and you know let us know what you think mm -hmm. it's something a little bit different um, but that's what we want to try and move towards doing. Yeah, supposedly you can play it multi like four player, two on each side. Wow. So I don't know if that would work on camera or not, we could try it out. That sounds like a really fun idea. That's actually a really good idea. Let us know if you want to see that. Yeah, and uh, we'll, we'll see you next time. Oh, you, uh, got, you got a text message there. Awkward. It's time to go. <laughs> May the force be with you, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Goodbye. Hello. If you enjoyed our games on Games Night, you can actually pick them up on the Yorkshire yeah. store. There's all the games we played, Camel Up, Bang, a bunch of D&D stuff. So go ahead, take a look, maybe buy some Yorkshire t-shirts while you're at it. Thanks for the support. Cheers, guys.